This is the KBIT2 revised video series. I'm Tina Eichstedt, Senior Product Manager at Pearson. I'm so pleased today to be here with Kathleen Rollins, Research Director for the KBIT2 revised. Welcome, Kathleen. Thank you. I'm really interested in asking you a particular question today that we're getting a lot from colleagues out in the field. And that is really what's changed about the KBIT2 revised from the current KBIT2? What can you tell us? Well, I can start with the big thing. KB2 revised has been normed with remote norms, so a remote sample. So we're offering remote and in-person combined norms. So that's huge, especially during this time. The core of KB2 though is the same. So if you've been using it for all these years, it still covers that wide age range that you love, the four to 90. It's still, uh, can be given by level B professionals. It takes about 20 minutes, so it's super fast. It has verbal and nonverbal tests or subtests, so it can cover that fluid reasoning, knowledge, and crystallized intelligence. So the, at the item level, we did make some changes. We try to keep them to a minimal amount, but starting with verbal knowledge, which is the subtest that has a lot of picture tiles. So we have hand-drawn tiles of pictures and customers gave us feedback that some of those tiles were outdated, some of those pictures. So we were easily able to adjust some of them, our designers. For instance, one had a computer, everyone was sitting around computers and it had the huge back on it. So we were easily able to adjust the art for that one. There was a few pictures that we changed for other reasons, um, auditory reasons, or one was culturally insensitive. And we swapped that art out with art from KBC to NU, because verbal knowledge and riddles are shared subtests with KBC to NU. Not the same items or anything, but, but the same subtests. Mm -hmm. Now the next subtest matrices, that subtest we had comments about a particular item. I'll share with you, it was item nine, and they were reporting that young children would get to that item and they would just look at it because the target picture is a book of matches. And children were not familiar with the matches, and so they didn't even know how to respond. And uh, it was easy to drop that item. We still kept our great gradient. And so it was successful. Hopefully, people will be happy not to have to have a child pause. Now, the other thing they asked for with matrices was um, the gifted and talented assessment folks asked for an extended ceiling. So we designed five new, very difficult items, and, uh, you know, tried them out during pilot and standardization and successfully were able to extend the ceiling on matrices. Riddles is our last subtest. And at the item level, we changed some of the correct and incorrect responses because as you can imagine over the years, things have changed. One of the answers did not include smartphone as a correct answer because obviously uh, back in 2004, smartphones were just, smartphones were just coming out. And so at that time, people weren't saying it. But now we look at every single answer that people give for those, those responses, and then we made adjustments. There was also a few items that were uh, identified as being biased. Uh, we were able to drop those also. So that stuff is actually is faster to give now. So only 45 items. A big thing that also is new and changed was our look. So now it's just beautiful. It matches more the Kaufman style of products. And you'll get to see it later this year when we publish. So thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Kathleen. It's great information. I can't wait to look at the manual as soon as you finish that and it gets all done. So thanks for your time. And thanks to all of you who are watching. More to come on this KBIT2 revised video series. But for now, have a great day.